Introduction to Animal Agriculture, the Minnesota Poultry Industry. Minnesota's commercial poultry industry is comprised of three different industries, turkey, broiler or meat chicken, and the egg layer industry. Turkeys. Minnesota is the top turkey producing and processing state in the nation. In 2006, Minnesota raised 45 million turkeys, which produced 1.2 billion pounds of turkey, nearly all of it processed in Minnesota. There are 200 independent growers in Minnesota, including some very large integrated producers like the Genio Turkey Store. 90% of the turkey produced in Minnesota is marketed outside the state. 10% of that is exported to foreign countries. Turkeys are fed a diet composed primarily of corn and soybeans, with Minnesota birds consuming 27.5 million bushels of corn and 15 million bushels of soybeans each year. Most of the corn and soybeans fed comes from Minnesota cropland, making the turkey industry and poultry industry in general an important part of Minnesota's agricultural sector. Minnesota also has eight processing plants. Minnesota's poultry industry employed 10,300 persons in 1996, with more than 6,000 jobs in processing plants and more than 4,000 working in poultry production. Turkeys are a very efficient meat-producing animal, requiring only 2.2 pounds of feed for each pound of animal weight gain. Production typically is divided in four segments, the breeding facilities, the hatchery, growing, and processing facilities. The breeder operations raise both male turkeys, called toms, and female turkeys, called hens, for production of fertilized eggs. Breeders are reared and housed in confinement facilities in order to be able to provide the lighting, day length, that is needed for reproductive tract development and maintenance of egg or semen production. The males are grown to approximately 70 pounds. Semen is collected from the tom and used to artificially inseminate the hens. Hens will produce eggs from the age of 32 weeks to 60 weeks. Hatcheries are where the eggs are incubated and hatched. There is a 28-day incubation period for turkeys. After hatching, the birds are sexed and beaks and toenails trimmed to prevent injury. Baby turkeys, or poults, are transported in environmentally controlled trucks from a hatchery to a brooder facility. Birds are brooded in confinement due to their need for supplemental heat. Brooder buildings are usually mechanically ventilated, and the floor is typically constructed of clay and bedded with dried pine sawdust. Facilities are cleaned and disinfected between broods. All bedding is removed between broods. The poults are placed into cardboard ring enclosures, which keeps the poults closer to the heat source, brooder stoves, or other type of heaters or lamps. Rings are gradually combined at 7 to 10 days and eventually will divide the room into four quarters. By 10 to 14 days, the rings will have been removed. As the poults get older, the supplemental feeders and waterers are removed. Room and brooder ring temperatures are reduced. Poults leave the brooder house at five weeks of age. Poults are then transferred to a grower facility. Growers raise the young hens until they reach 12 to 20 weeks of age, reaching a market weight of approximately 13 and a half to 22 pounds. Toms remain in the grow-out facilities for 18 to 22 weeks, or until they reach a market weight of 28 to 40 pounds plus. Bedding from wet areas is typically removed between flocks. The barns are completely cleaned once a year. The poultry industry has three basic types of producers. Birds can be owned and raised by individuals known as independent growers. Independent growers assume all the risk and provide all the inputs necessary to raise the birds, including feed, water, labor, and housing facilities. All expenses are paid by the grower, and they are responsible for marketing the birds, usually on contract with a processor. Producers can also have an arrangement or contract with the processors. Contract growers typically own the building and provide all the labor. The birds are owned by the processor, and the processor provides the poults, 
feed, technical services, and veterinary care. Processors can also own and manage the entire production cycle. A vast majority of all poultry is vertically integrated or produced through contract growers and processor-owned facilities. Nearly 100% of all U.S. broiler production and 93% of turkey production is processor-owned or concentrated production. The U.S. turkey industry is concentrated in small clusters around the country. The reason these clusters exist is because processor-owned turkey production concentrates around the processor who owns the birds. Each cluster on the map represents a major turkey processor. In Minnesota and the U.S., turkey production has been increasing. The production and value of turkey in Minnesota has increased 35% since 1994. Growth has been due primarily to increases in market weight of turkeys marketed, heavy tom production. Since 1996, the number of turkeys raised has been constant at around 44 to 46 million birds per year. Broilers. Currently, Minnesota producers raise nearly 50 million meat birds per year. As with turkey production, broilers are typically raised through processors or contract growers. The value of the Minnesota broiler industry in 05 was nearly $99 million and employed 1,600 people in Minnesota. Nationally, broiler production has been increasing rapidly to meet consumer demand, currently at about 85 pounds per year per person. Most of this production is concentrated in the southeastern U.S. Minnesota ranks 17th in U.S. broiler production. In Minnesota, there has been a slight increase in broiler production since 1998. Broiler production saw a sharp decline in production around 1997 due to the closing of a processing plant in Worthington, showing the impact of processors on the location of poultry operations. Broilers go to market at 4 to 6 pounds. At this time, they're between 6 to 8 weeks old. The broiler diet is primarily corn and soybeans. Broilers are one of the more efficient meat animals, using nearly two pounds of feed to produce one pound of meat. Fifty-five to seventy percent of production costs is in feed. Broilers are brooded and raised in the same facility. During the first few weeks of production, young chicks are confined to a portion of the building where temperatures are maintained between 80 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Over time, temperatures are reduced to 70 degrees. Buildings are typically mechanically ventilated with floors of concrete or compacted clay. Barns are partially cleaned between flocks and completely cleaned once a year. Egg Production The poultry industry also includes egg production. Minnesota ranks 10th in egg production with 3 billion eggs per year from 10.5 million hens. The egg industry employs 1,300 people in Minnesota and generated nearly $91 million in economic value in 2005. The major producers in the state are Sparbo Company, Michael Foods, and Golden Oval. Nationally, egg production has been increasing in the U.S., up from $75 billion in 1995 to nearly 90 billion eggs in 2005. The egg industry originally started on the East Coast in the Southeast United States because of the close proximity to markets and population centers. Gradually, the industry migrated to the Midwest to be closer to feed ingredients because it was cheaper to ship eggs than corn and soybeans. New growth is primarily due to expansion of existing companies. Typically, a hen lays about 267 eggs in 45 weeks, or about 6 eggs a week. Hens may remain in the flock until they are two years old. Molting programs are instituted to maintain egg production and quality. In nature, molting is a natural process that occurs in older birds after breeding and in young birds as they grow their adult plumage. In the molting process, feathers are lost and in breeding birds, the reproductive tract regresses and eggs are no longer produced. Molting programs now use a specially designed feed and changes in lighting to help induce molting. Hens are housed in cages. Space allowances range from 60 to 90 square inches and depend on the breed and size of the adult bird. 
The cages are stacked in such a way that the manure falls through the bottom of the cage onto a conveyor belt or down a pit below the barn. There are several important issues facing the poultry industry. Poultry diseases can be transferred between barns and flocks. If you're visiting farms, you must comply with site-specific biosecurity policies. This will likely mean a 24 to 48 hour waiting period between visits to different flocks, special clothing and boots, or possibly vehicle washing prior to the visit. Maintaining flock health is always important. This requires a well-managed facility and preventative disease programs, use of high-quality feed that meets nutrient requirements and utilizes good quality ingredients, limited use of antibiotics under the direction of a veterinarian to prevent and treat diseases, and no use of growth-promoting hormones or steroids. 10% of Minnesota raised turkeys are exported to foreign countries. Our production and health standards must meet the standards of our trade partners. Any disease outbreaks or animal welfare concerns will limit our ability to trade with these countries. Permitting and siting issues could drive our production to other states and countries. In addition, labor needs are great in the poultry industry with immigrants supplying a significant amount of labor and management to the industry. Currently, there is also increased competition for corn coming from the expanding ethanol industry. Minnesota is the top turkey producing state in the nation. This is due to several factors including low cost of feed inputs and the availability of feeds such as corn, soybean meal, and ethanol byproducts. Additionally, companies that have processing plants in Minnesota have strong brands that are recognized nationally, which means their markets will continue to grow. The high percentage of vertical coordination through contract growers and processor-owned production facilities improves capital access for producers. While many of these advantages also exist for the broiler industry, it has not grown as rapidly in Minnesota because of the lack of infrastructure and number of processing plants compared to the southeast U.S. For more information about the Minnesota poultry industry, visit the University of Minnesota Poultry website or the Minnesota Turkey Growers and Broiler and Egg Association of Minnesota website shown on this page.